This video would not be possible without Gasland sending us this portable camping tankless water heater and sail float for sending us the pump to run this. Now you may or may not need the pump depending how you're going to be camping. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you and tell you everything you need to know how to run this with or without the pump. And it's pretty freaking sweet. So this is what we're going to do. First, I'm going to talk about the specs of the heater. Then we're going to move on to the pump. And then I'm going to show you guys how to hook it up. And it's freaking easy. It does not take long at all. So to start off with, this thing only weighs eight pounds. It's nothing. It's super light. It's compact. You can throw it in the back of your storage bin, however you want to uh, transport it to your location. Now, every one is rated differently. This one's rated for 1.3 gallons a minute. The minimum pressure to start this is 3.6 pounds. So essentially, if it's gravity fit, it may or may not work. I'm not sure. Maybe you got, if you got a system above it and then it's draining into it, I haven't tested that because mainly we have the pump. So essentially, if you have an RV, any kind of a camping unit, you just hook the hose up to the bottom and you're good to go. But if you can't have that, if that's not gonna work for you, you just get a portable RV pump, which Sailflow sent us, and then you're gonna be able to hook it up. And that's what we're gonna be using. Hey Jess. So the max PSI, it goes between 3.6 to 110 pounds. So when you're picking out your pump, get one between there. You don't want to get anything over pressured more than 110 because it won't be rated for that. Now this unit is 34,000 BTUs. That's freaking hot. Once you turn this on, it's probably like three to four seconds, you got heat at the end of the hose. Now, when you first prime your pump, when you start putting water into it, it has to fill up entirely. And then once it starts circulating, coming out, then the heater will kick in, you will hear the burner. Leading back to how it's powered for the fuel source, just bring your 20 pound propane tank and hook it up. Also to note, this is pretty cool too. You can get those little adapters. This obviously comes off. If you wanna run, like we used it camping uh, when we were ice fishing this year. If you wanna run the, like the big buddy adapter, it's a regular adapter that goes onto the bomb and it goes to the one pound propane tanks because of all honesty if you're running these for showers you're not using that much propane so if you don't want to truck around a 20 pound propane tank just bring your one pounds and you're probably good to go for quite a while and one more power source you're going to need is two double d batteries that go in the bottom now when we hook this up before we actually get there if you look right here i hope it's focusing we just put a nipple, it's 3 8 The pump outlet and inlet is 3 8 so we got a, a, a swig it or a spigot, whatever you want to call this, a nipple that swigs down or reduces down to the 3 8 adapter, and that's where your water goes in. So it's very basic. There's the water inlet, the outlet for the power, or the power, sorry, the heat, and this is for your propane right there. And then the batteries go in right here, and that is absolutely it. It's super easy to run. Now let's move to the pump and then we're gonna set this up. One thing I should actually note is safety. If you go and read the manual, we skimmed it very quickly. It pretty much has every fail safe you're gonna need. If it runs out of like water, the burner's gonna shut off. If there's a low gas, it'll shut off. Like there's a lot of fail safe. There's an anti-freezing system. I'm not entirely sure what that is exactly, but it has an anti-freezing system. But there's a lot of whole bunch of safety systems. Maybe I'll just link it or put a picture up here. You guys can look at all of them. So far as the safety issue, it shouldn't be a problem. So now moving on to the pump. Now we do got this pre-rigged already. We went, went out and got our 3 8 line. We got it rigged up for each side. There's a bunch of different pumps you can get, different PSIs, GPM. Just get something within the range that we already talked about. This one is 0.7 gallons a minute and ru runs on 70 PSI. Now the max is 110, so long as it's below that. And I mean, if you're not if you're not running a huge pipeline up into the heater, this is still gonna be more than enough. So you don't need like the one at like rated for 1.3, 110. So this should be perfect. This is a very basic pump. It's just 12 volt, it's your positive, and it's your negative. You hook it up, it is self-priming, and it'll run until it pressures off and pressures up and shuts off. So there's no switches, nothing. It's gonna continue to run, stay prime, keep the line full all by itself. There's really not much else to say about this, but the max draw when it's under full load is 2.1 amps. So it's very, very minimal. And you, would, you wouldn't even have to get another battery to run it. It would last forever. You can run it to your battery or to your truck battery or whatever you want to do. And I'll just give you a close up here. And all the specs and everything will be right on the pump. There's one side's the inlet, one is the out. There's an arrow so you cannot screw it up. And if you do, you're gonna figure it out in a hurry when you start it. It's very small, compact, but Sailflow does have a bunch of different, there's four different style pumps. This one's pretty much in the middle. So it's gonna be perfect for what we're gonna be using it for. So now comes the freaking fun part. We're gonna hook this thing up. And another cool factor about this, I have a buddy, he sent me a video last night. You can put this, he draws it right out of the creek. If you got a nice clear creek, you put a nice float system, a screen on the end, you can draw water and just let this thing rip for an hour if you want to run hot water. So keep that in mind too, if you, if you, if you don't have to haul your own water. You can draw it out of somewhere clear 
freaking awesome. So you can put it wherever you want. We're just gonna pick a little branch here, hang her up in the trees to start with. And it's eight pounds, it's not really gonna fall or anything. So here we go. We're just gonna hook this thing up. Obviously it's all the correct fittings for every propane tank you're going to buy. 20 pound, 30 pound, whatever you want. Or like I was saying, use the other adapter for the one pound and just carry those around, which is pretty freaking cool too. And we brought our bucket of water. I think I'll put it right there. And the last thing I should actually note, hook the pump up last. Cause you gotta remember once you put power to it, it's gonna automatically start priming and uh, pressuring up the line. So do that very last. Here's our battery. Now hook our line up. And what I do is with the coast clamp, I just snug it down a little bit and tighten it so you never forget it at home. Cause you definitely don't want to forget this. Push it on the bottom, it's nothing. If you guys are getting any kind of value, don't forget to hit that sub button. We're gonna be using this quite a bit this year in a bunch of our camping videos. We're gonna do a lot more camping fishing videos this year. In the water volume, I didn't say that, is on the right. And then the left is the temperature. And this is just a quick coupler for the bottom of here. You just push it on. Just like a garden hose, lots of those quick connectors. I'm gonna dip that in. Oh, here comes a dog. Want some water before we start? <laughs> like, don't drink at all. So you're gonna hear it start, it's gonna push up, prime up, and shut off automatically. So it's kind of like a foolproof, you don't gotta mess with it. There's no actual on or off switch on this thing. Everyone probably skipped to this part of the video. Honestly, if I watched this video, I probably skipped to this part too. Because here we freaking go. Oh, I got it on. And there you go. And let's turn this thing on. We'll just give, it, give you a couple uh, quick rundowns here. Heard the burner. Oop, we gotta get a little bit of air. Oh, my, my hose came out, that doesn't help. You gotta get the air out of the system again, just give it a second. Let it prime up, and there we go. You can hear the burner kick on. I'll put my mic a little closer. And it's more than enough for a shower. I mean, you're out camping, you don't wanna have a lot of pressure. It's a whole, you know, like you're camping. So don't worry about getting like 500 PSI. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the settings. Oh, that's hot. The, even the handle gets super hot in a hurry, which is a bonus. So there's a press. You press it one way, you press it the other way for on and off. And this is more pressure. You go up farther with this switch. Look at the steam coming off this thing. It is freaking hot, man. Like it's hot. It's the perfect like washing temperature for your um, for your dishes. Shower, I'd probably turn it down a little bit because you know when you get out of the shower and it's so hot some days, your skin gets red. That's probably what's gonna happen right here. You know, I can just put it back in the water. I can recycle and do this all day. So here's the settings on the head. So that's the fanning. I don't know what, what, what they're actually called, but there's one setting. And it's got another setting in the center. And then there's that one. So that's like a power cleaning one maybe when you get really dirty. It's a, it's a really, it gets hot. I don't, I can't really hold my finger there for very long, so that's probably a good thing. But I mean, steam's coming off it and you can feel the heat in this handle. Oh, look at the freaking steam. <laughs> that's awesome. We played with it a little bit already. Now I'm gonna bring the mic closer for you guys. You can hear the burner kick on too, because it's kind of cool. So I'm just gonna turn it on and not say anything and you can hear the burner start. Oh, hose came out again. There you go. You can hear the sparking system is what the batteries are doing when it fires up, like it's the sparker and then a gas takes over and ignites. <laughs> it's awesome, look at the steam. Like it's crazy. And temperature control, I'll bring the, actually the, the thing a little closer so you can get a better look now. So there you guys go. This is gonna be your temperature right here and this is the flow on the right. And I know if you turn the flow all the way to the left, it cuts it out entirely and it just will only, um, spray out cold water. So if you're like filling up your dishes, just do that. Hope you liked the video, you guys. I'll leave the links below for everything. Thanks a lot. Subscribe.